hello friends today in this video we will going to discuss about management of acute severe asthma but to start with we will first know what is status asthmaticus or acute severe asthma now acute severe asthma or status as asthmaticus is an acute exacerbation of asthma that does not respond to standard treatment of bronchodilator or steroid symptom may usually include respiratory distress chest tightness rapid progressive dyspnea or shortness of breath dry cough use of accessory muscle that is visible from distance labored breathing and extreme wheezing so these are some character primary characteristic of status asthmaticus now to start with we should know that status asthmaticus is a life threatening situation so all the treatment that we do are to be promptly administered so that patient mortality could be reduced so to start with first our in primary aim will be to abort the acute attack and to do so we do the following five step step number 1 prop up the patient to about 30 degree and give 100% oxygen at a rate of 4 to 8 liter per minute and our aim will be to raise the saturation of blood or oxygen saturation of blood to above 94% next in our line of treatment is injection aminophylline which is usually given at a loading dose of 5 to 8 mg per kg in 100 ml ns at 20 minute that is over 20 minute and followed by maintenance dose and maintenance dose is given according to the age that is if patient is a young patient then he is given at a dose of 0.9 mg per kg per hour and if a patient is older old older one that is about 50 years of age then at a dose of 0.6 mg per kg per hour third drug that we use is injection hydrocortisone which is usually given in form of intravenous infusion at a loading dose of 4 mg per kg at over 4 hour and then a maintenance dose of 3 mg per kg over 6 hours for 24 hour next in our line of treatment is injection kefotaxin which is given at a do uh, dose of 1 g intravenously twice a day after skin test for 5 days next in our line of treatment is nebulization to start with we give a short acting beta 2 agonist and a long acting beta 2 agonist namely salbutamol 5 mg or tarbital in 10 mg and long acting that is ipratropium bromide 20 to 40 mg or oxytropium bromide 200 mg usually the doses is uh, salbutamol or tarbital in at a dose of 4 uh, hourly and uh, nebulization with ipratropium bromide and oxytropium bromide eight hourly and this concluded our uh, management of acute attack which usually suffi is sufficient to abort the acute attack next comes the management of post acute attack that is the long term management to start with we give patient salbutamol tablet 4 mg one tab thrice a day second is the tablet prednisolone 
10 mg. Patient is advised to take 4 tap in the morning and then gradually taper the doses over 2 weeks. Third is the sodium chromoglycate yeah, in uh, puff the, or inhalation by meter dose inhaler usually at a dose of 2 puff 4 times a day. Then we give tap ketotifen 1 or 2 mg twice a day. Next is the drug Montelukas or leukotin antagonist. Any one of the choice is usually given at a dose of 10 mg orally once in the evening. And lastly, we give patient an expectorant usually dextramethophen hydrobromide 5 mg chlorpheniramine 2.5 mg preparation one example and of my favorite is syrup drilling test which i usually advise to give 2 teaspoon thrice a day for 1 to 2 weeks and patient is also asked to take plenty of fluid during the period of convalescence as patient usually hyperventilate and causes uh, decrease in uh, blood volume so this concluded our overall discussion over the management of acute severe asthma hopefully you have been benefited thank you